Hello book nerds, welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim and this is day 14 of Vlogmas. Can you guys believe that there's only like 10 days left till Christmas? Isn't that crazy? It's coming so fast. I still have presents to wrap. We'll get there, we'll get there. So today I wanted to have a quick chat about my most recent read, which is The Christmas Bookshop. Uh, it's by Jenny Coleman, Colgan, Jenny Colgan, <laughs> and I really liked it. It was a cute story. It takes place in Scotland in Edinburgh. I think I'm saying that right. And um, so our main character, she is a girl who is stuck in kind of a dead end retail job. And then the department store where she works closes down, leaving her without a job. And so she kind of falls into a a state of depression. Her mom's kind of desperately trying to push some motivation into her while also hoping that her two daughters will get over some of their differences and reconcile. Contacts the older sister and the older sister just happens to have a situation where she could use the help of a retail store person. So our younger sister, Carmen, goes to the older sister, Sophia, I think her name was, and she moves into her home with her two uh, nieces and a nephew. Um, the older sister's husband is away on a business trip in Japan and the older sister is pregnant. So she, her mission is to help revitalize an old bookshop. The old man who owns it is a uh, an heir to a fortune that he has already spent <laughs> mostly by not paying attention to where his money was going. And so if he loses the store, he loses any capital that he might have to put towards his retirement, basically rendering him destitute. So this store is his life. Now he's a distracted old uh, book nerd. <laughs> like you and me and he likes to do nothing more than read and chat about books he's not retail minded at all so our protagonist comes in and she works really hard to turn this store around the idea is that they have to turn a profit to pay for increasing rents by christmas now while she's working in this bookstore she is dealing with some internal issues she's dealing with a sense of frustration towards her sister and her general relationship with her family. And she is meeting some men and kind of finds herself stuck in a little bit of a love triangle where she has to decide who she is most interested in. Um, and then of course she who hates children gets to know her nieces and her nephew. It was a really sweet story, and it didn't strictly focus on romance, which was nice because those whole romance Christmas stories, those Hallmark Christmas stories, while cute stories, they kind of get old <laughs> fast. And so this was a nice refreshing change of pace. It was not a cozy Christmas mystery, and it was not your typical Hallmark Christmas story. Instead, it was like a self-improvement Christmas story. And I really liked that. So I give this one a five out of five. I had zero complaints with it. I liked that it took place in an old Scottish town. I liked the character that the town described, that was described in the town at the base of a castle in a drained lake. And I really enjoyed the themes of this story, themes of family and themes of finding yourself and of helping others and learning your own worth. So yes, again, five out of five, excellent Christmas read. Highly, highly recommend it. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you with a couple more clips from this morning of the snow. Again, an example of, I live in a place where the air hurts your face for six months of the year, that I hate it. Like, not where I live, but that season, <laughs> the temperature, winter. <laughs> But it's another example of just how pretty winter can be. Okay, book nerds, that's it for me, and I will see you tomorrow.